Today, we're going to be diving into the top projects of Avalanche, the best and most promising ones that we think you should know about. So if you're into crypto, you would have definitely heard about Avalanche. And if you haven't, what have you been doing? I'm just kidding. By the end of this video, you should have a good grasp on the projects on Avalanche and figure out how you can make the most out of your cryptocurrency investments. Now, if you like to stay updated to all things crypto, make sure you click on that subscribe button and turn on the notifications. Also, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for all the latest crypto updates. Let's begin. First things first, what is Avalanche? Well, Avalanche's goal is to provide a scalable blockchain system that maintains decentralization and security while concentrating on cheap costs, quick transaction speeds, and environmental friendliness. In other words, Avalanche is a decentralized smart contract platform that is open and programmable. Avalanche claims to be the fastest smart contracts platform in the blockchain market. The Avalanche TVL is now over 12 billion. And when compared to the date of over a year ago, the TVL was only about 9.1 million. There are over 364 projects on the platform. And in this video, we will be summarizing the top six projects and why you should get into them. The first project is Trader Joe. Trader Joe claims to be a one-stop decentralized trading platform on Avalanche. Here are the things that you can do on Trader Joe. First, there is a service for swapping and trading. You may change also your tokens to liquidity provider, LP tokens. For example, replace your USDC tokens for USDC DAI LP tokens, and in return, you'll receive a cut of the trading fees. You can do borrowing and lending, and also staking and yield farming. Joe is Trader Joe's native token, and also a governing token that pays holders a portion of the exchange earnings. Now, in this case, the question remains, how does Trader Joe maintain its dominant position as one of the major DeFi apps on Avalanche. What this project is doing differently is just the approach. Trader Joe encapsulates a fun hero's journey centered on Joe. He is a dedicated trader who works relentlessly to ensure that everyone has access to decentralized financial products like liquidity pools, farms, and loans which are coming soon. For Joe stakers, they are bringing in more choices and functionality. Users can put their Joe into any or all of the staking pools that are available. Arjo, Sjo, and Vejo. With Arjo, users can stake Joe to receive Arjo, which can then be used on Rocket Joe launch, which is their launch pad. And when used to enter Rocket Joe launches, Arjo is non-transferable and is burnt. There are no costs associated with depositing or unstaking, and you will not be charged any fee. When you stake Joe into SJO, you can delegate the revenues earned from the platform where the rewards are paid in the form of stable coins. A similar concept to yield farming, you can harvest the rewards at any time and over time earn stable coins there is a deposit charge that scales up to a maximum of 3%, which is determined by the demand for SJO staking at the moment, and no fee is charged to unstake. The deposit fee is paid in JO tokens at the time of registration and dispersed to current SJO stakers. And lastly, for VEJO, users may invest JO in VEJO to receive higher JO yields for certain farms on the site. Okay, then we go to the second project. The second project is Ben Key, a money market protocol that allows users to lend, borrow, and earn interest on their assets. Now, for some time now, liquidity markets have connected borrowers and lenders to match their economic interests, and Ben Key functions the same way as the go-to market for assets on Avalanche, 
opening up new avenues and possibilities for users in asset utilization. Now, what sets out Banky as one of the top Avalanche projects is that Ava Labs, the company that established Avalanche, has made a direct investment into the project. The total value locked sits at over 2.5 billion, which is one of the highest TVL across all Avalanche platforms. The key tokens market cap currently sits at over 77 million with 1.25 billion in circulating supply. They recently launched liquid staking, which is a huge announcement because you can now stake your tokens and earn your awards and use the unlocked capital, LAVAX, for additional yield. Liquid staking adds another layer of security to the Avalanche network. Individuals and procedures may use liquid staking to increase the return on their AVAX assets. Now, thanks to the integration of VKey, liquid staking opens the doors of possibility for subnets to projects that wouldn't have been possible previously. Now let's move on to the third project. The third project is Platypus Finance. The current stable swap paradigm has a complicated architecture that leads to increased slippage, decreased scalability, and a bad user experience. Automated market makers, or AMMs, now employ closed liquidity pools, which do not share liquidity with other pools. On Avalanche, Platypus creates an entirely new AMM, an open liquidity single-sided AMM that manages risk autonomously depending on the coverage ratio, allowing for maximum capital efficiency. Now, Platypus aims to provide lower slippage, higher scalability, and overall better user experience. In comparison to previous stable swaps, the open liquidity pool architecture allows for greater capital efficiency. Liquidity fragmentation has resulted from the closed liquidity pool approach. Platypus has abandoned this concept in favor of an open liquidity pool approach in which liquidity is shared across many pools. And by doing so, the slippage has reduced to 0.01% from 0.05%. Platypus's native token, PTP, is available for liquidity mining through three pools, the base pool, boosting pool, and AVAX PTP pool. The rewards earned from the base pool are depending on how many stable coins you deposit. The more you deposit, the higher the reward. For the boosting pool, you earn the rewards via staking. The longer you stake, the higher the reward. With so many cutting edge and groundbreaking concepts, in the works, it's really no surprise that Platypus is attracting a lot of interest from investors. In 2021, Platypus secured 3.3 million in funds from Three Arrows Capital and Defiance Capital, leading the financing round. So are you excited with all of these projects? Well, there's more. Let's take a look at the fourth project. The fourth project is Avalanche. Now, every blockchain has its own launchpad, which is devoted to the ecosystem's growth and expansion. And as the ecosystem expands, new launchpads will be required to service the bigger community. Avalanche is a community building tool designed by users for teams, leveraging Avalanche's scalable, high throughput and low latency infrastructure. It is an avalanche powered launch pad that assists new and creative projects in preparing for launch while emphasizing fair and widespread distribution. Now, the issue with decentralized systems is that they have become sluggish, difficult and expensive. Only a few people are allowed to participate and technical troubles seem to be the norm. Avalanche was created to alleviate the current fundraising landscape's problems. The protocol was created with investors in mind, and it promises to reduce the risk, expense, and volatility that come with competing platforms. The ethos of Avalanche is this. 
Amounts will be distributed to all qualifying Zeva holders. There are no tiered systems with arbitrary minimum stakes. There are no secret whitelists or a lottery method. Also, maximum user allotment to encourage a wider distribution and participants that stay for a long time are rewarded. Now, there are two ways to be a part of the Avalanche ecosystem with Zeva. First is with IDO allocation staking, a single-sided staking, and through a farming application. You can collect your rewards from staking in Zeva in four ways. The first is through allocation in IDOs, the second and third being deposit and allocation fees. And the last one is the ecosystem reward. All right, up next is Krabada. Krabada is a new idle play to earn game on the Avalanche network that is rising the gaming ranks. It is set in an underwater environment populated by Krabada, strong battling hermit crabs. Players may make real money by breeding, lending, renting, and fighting crabs. The Krabada ecosystem is made up of three separate tokens, each with its unique set of applications. They are CRA, TUS, and CRAM, or C-R-A-M. CRA is the platform's governance token, and it's earned by staking and playing the game during the incentive period. CRA may be gained through a community bootstrap event, or a DEX, following the community bootstrap event, before the debut of the idle game. And then there's also TUS or TUS, the game's in-game money. TUS may be earned via mining, plundering, and lending crabs through the tavern. Finally, Cram is an amulet that may be utilized for in-game bonuses and special prizes after staking CRA. The gaming activity includes mining, looting, and breeding. Assets from Krabada can be deployed into the world's underwater mines. Crabs in group of three may be deployed to mine certain spots on the map. Players can dispatch them to pillage the treasuries of other players for a bigger payout than mining. The players, on the other hand, can successfully defend their treasure, resulting in the looting expedition failing. Wah, wah, wah. The initial cost for buying crabs is roughly $4,000. Now, if you poke around other Crabada videos here on YouTube, you can see that many from across the globe are reaping decent earnings from these games. So you can start playing a functional game with an ambitious plan and just have lots of fun. Now on to the last project. The last project is Kalau. Kalau is an NFT ecosystem that provides a low cost, easy to use marketplace that is driven by a mix of Avalanche blockchain technology and Kalau's VR amazing features. The Kalau framework will expedite the adoption of virtual reality technology in order to create virtual worlds and to keep corporate use cases digitally transformed. Upon the collaboration of Avalanche and Kalau, the CEO of Kalau expressed that the visions of both companies will sync and can be used to create ambitious MVPs. Kalau's platform provides companies and people with a personalized virtual reality and metaverse experience, as well as a quick and dependable marketplace. The platform is ideal for real world applications such as art exhibitions, digital luxury goods trades, um, live streaming events and event ticketing. And the Kalau marketplace infrastructure, which is powered by the Avalanche blockchain, allows users to generate, buy, sell, and collect NFTs. Now with or without a VR headset, Kalau's gallery provides a unique 3D approach to enjoy NFTs. How cool is that? You can create your own virtual gallery and decorate the 3D space to your liking. You can become your very own interior designer, including you know, hanging NFTs on the walls and playing NFT music to visitors. I mean, that's, that's really cool. Now, the multiplayer mode will be available at the gallery, opening doors to the game industry, the digital art scene, live concert feeds, and so much more. This metaverse experience function allows users to partake in complete metaverse adventures. You can purchase or rent virtual land to promote your company, or you can watch a live performance. 
And lastly, there is the KLO token, which is the native token of Kalao and may be rewarded to its users. So plenty of exciting features on this platform. I don't know about you, but I am pretty sold with their marketplace and gallery VR features. So check it out for yourself and discover if it is something that you would like to get into. So there you have it, folks, all the top projects in Avalanche that we think have the potential to make some serious coins. Now, we hope that you found this video extremely helpful. If so, please hit that like button and subscribe. And also, do you have any other Avalanche projects worth noting? Throw them in the comment section down below. Bye.